I want to show you some methods we can use to be consistent when we're uh, digitizing beaver ponds and beaver dams from aerial imagery. And I'll do this in Google Earth and also in QGIS. Um, if we do this, it'll help us stay consistent and then we can, can do some analysis on here also. So I'm just going to go into Temple 4 and Spawn Creek where we know there are beaver ponds. Okay, so you can see I've got one, two, three, maybe four, five, you know, six, seven. There's a few ponds along here. Another one down there. Okay, so the way I think that it's going to be best to set this up is if you go to your temporary places and you right click, you can click add folder. And we're going to name this one Crest. And we're going to add another folder. Oops, I need to pull this over here so you can see it. And we're going to name this Base. And another folder. Um, this will be Thaw Leg. And another folder area. Okay. Good deal. So the way we're going to do this is crests are going to be lines, bases will be points, thaw legs lines, and areas will be polygons. We want one of these for each dam. And the trick is we need to make sure we can link these back, uh, link these all together so we have the same uh, attribute here for each dam we can connect those. And so I'll show you how I think the best way to do this is going to be. You're going to come to your dam. The first thing you want to do is the crest. And you're going to use this path. Um, it's basically a line string. And I'm going to name this one. This is the first dam I'm doing. The ID is one. Uh, move this over here. And then once that's up, I can click and hold and drag to mark the crest of the dam. Which is going to be right along the top of the dam. Okay. Um, so there's our damn crest. And then I click OK. You can see I've added this crest uh, to my folder. For the base, I want to add a point. I'm going to name this one because it's the crest is also one. I'm going to drag that. And I'm going to put this base right at the bottom of the dam where the stream leaves. Okay? So at the bottom of the dam where the stream comes out of the pond. So you can see the stream comes out right here. You can see those sticks right there. I'm going to place this right at the base there. And that is my dam base. Okay. Now the thaw leg, what this is going to be is kind of the flow of current, the main channel through the dam. Um, so some of these is going to be hard to see, but do the best you can. So you can see this like a shadow here, so the, the pond ends right about back there. It looks like the stream comes in right into that area, and the stream leaves right through here. Uh, there's kind of some deeper water through here, maybe. A little hard to tell, but it looks like that's maybe the where the, where the water flows, is there's deeper water through there. And so for the thaw log, I'm also adding a path or a line string. I'm naming it 1 also. I'm going to start right where the stream comes in. I'm going to click and drag along the deep water right down to the base and then click OK. And then for the pond area, uh, I want to add a polygon. Name this one also. This is the first stand. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click and drag right along the entire area that this pond inundates. Okay, so you can see that. And drag along there. And OK, I'm done. One thing you might want to do with the area, oops, I don't want to do that. Um, if we go to properties, style and color, field and outline, so lines 100%. So if we go to the field, uh, we can change this opacity to uh, about 40%. Okay, and then when you're drawing it, you'll be able to kind of see where the dam is still. Okay, so there's one dam. Let's come down and do 
another one of these smaller ones down here. So the first thing I want to do is the crest. I'm going to add a line. This is going to be number two. I can't name the same thing. I need to be unique. So number two, there's a tree in the way, but I'm going to say that the damn crest starts right about there and comes over to here. Okay. I want to add a base. So I'm going to add a point. And you can see that the stream seems to come out right around there. Okay. And I'm going to name that 2. Okay. And then the Thalwag. Another path or line string. This is also 2. And the stream looks like it comes in right here. Maybe it flows down to the base there. And I'm going to say okay. And then the area, and I'm adding a polygon for this one. It's also two. And we'll trace around this pond here. Okay. Um, that didn't change the properties. I'm going to see if I can change those properties real quick. Properties. Style and color. So we want to share style. Uh, opacity 40%. Okay, hopefully that'll do it. Anyway, you can play with that a little bit as you, as you draw these. Um, so you can see I can just build these up over here and each of these will be unique and be linked together. And then I can import this into QGIS and uh, and then do some analysis. Now let's do this one, we'll do one more here just to make sure we're totally clear. Um, so crest, add a path, this will be number three. Draw it along the crest here. These don't have to be exactly perfect, but get it as close as you can. Uh, three for the base. <coughs> And we'll put that, looks like a stream comes out right here. The damn base should be right about there. Okay. Thaw leg. And we want to add a path for this one. It's going to be number three. This one's kind of hard to tell exactly where it comes in. But it looks like maybe right around here. And so I'm just going to draw this down like that to the base. Okay. And area. Add a polygon. Three. And we will, oops, I messed up a little there. And you can delete these and go back if you feel like you need to. Okay. And we'll draw that like that. And okay, and we're done. And so then we have these over here. Now what you'll need to do when you're done is right click, save place as, and then you can save it as Crest Base and Thaw Leg. Um, or you can put a location name on it when you're done so that you know which location it is and you save it. And you're good to go. Okay, now we can do this in QGIS also. So I want to show you that. Let me get this running up here real quick. Here it is, okay. Now the first thing you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go to Plugins, Manage and Install Plugins. And this will uh, come up with the Plugins dialog here. You want to find Open Layers Plugin. Okay. I have it installed already, so you're going to click on that. You're going to click Install Plugin down in your corner. It's going to do it. You're going to be good. You'll, you'll click Close. You'll come up here to Web. And then you have this Open Layers Plugin. You can go to Google Maps. You have Google Satellite Imagery, Bing Maps, Bing Aerial Imagery. Um, I haven't looked at the MapQuest Aerial Imagery. I don't know how good that is. Um, but you can get the same Google imagery on here and so let's just get the Google satellite we'll go back to the same place we were 
you can't print out maps with the aerial imagery, but you can use it for analysis, or you can use it to, to like digitize the ponds here in QGIS. Okay. So let's see, Logan Canyon here, and Spawn Creek is here. Okay, so here we are, here are the ponds we were just at. Alright, so what I'm going to do here is I need to make a new shape file. So this over here is how you make a new shape file. New shape file layer. We want to make a line. And you can just leave this. Uh, it should be the default, this WGS84, okay? Let's just use that and we'll keep it all consistent so we don't have to worry about the conversions. Um, we already have this ID field here, so all you have to do is choose the right type. So we want line for the crest. We're going to do the crest first. You click OK. And it's going to give you a place to uh, to put this. Let's see if I have, yeah, I've got just a junk folder here, uh, new folder, test, and then we'll put it right in here and we'll call it crest save, okay? And let's add our other files in here. So new shape file, we need a point for the base. Uh, we have the ID, okay. So we'll call this base and save. And let's do another one. Uh, this is going to be a line. Uh, I'll click OK. Make this file leg. Save. And then we need a polygon. OK. Area. Save. OK. So now what I'm going to do is first we'll start with the crest. We're going to click on crest. We're going to click this little pencil here. When that pencil is yellow, it means you can't change anything. I'm going to click on it. Well, and now it's depressed, right? You see how it's got that box around it? That means I can edit. And I click this add feature button. Okay, I'll come over here. Let it load here for a sec. Okay, and then I'm going to click along the damn crest. So I click, click, click. You can see that line forming along there. Okay, when I get done, I right click, use the other mouse button, and I type 1. Okay, now I'm going to do the base. Find out where the base of that dam is. You know, right around there. I'm going to click. Oh, I didn't do something. I messed this up, but it's not, it's not a big deal. Okay, so notice how I'm on base, but I did not click the edit button. So when I'm editing, I click add feature, I find the bottom of the dam, click it, ID 1, OK. Uh, now I want to do the thaw leg. Make sure I hit the edit button. Uh, comes in right over here it looks like. Oop, I didn't click the add features button that time. See, so you got to remember to do these things and it's not a big deal sometimes if you don't. Um, but see how I moved that? It moved everything when I moved it because I didn't save those features. Um, so what I want to do is, let's go to thaw, like we'll stop editing. I didn't do anything. Let's stop editing on this. I'm going to discard those because they're not where they need to be anymore. And I'm going to stop editing and discard these layers as well. And we'll just start over again here really quick. Okay, so let's go crest. And we'll draw the... Oh, I forgot to click on the uh, create features again. So this is a little, you got to remember to do some more things here. Okay, add feature. Here we go. Get that line going. Right click. One. Okay, and then I'm going to click save, just so it locks it in. It's going to save that feature. I'm going to come to base. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to add feature. And I'm going to click down here on the base of the dam. One. Okay. I'm going to save it. I'm going to come to the thaw leg here. I'm going to edit it. I'm going to add a feature. I'm going to click down to the base. Right click. One. Okay. I'm going to save it. 
and then I'm going to do area, edit, add feature. And you see that yellow bar flashing up? It's saying it, it's having a problem with some of the points. It's not a big deal. We're clicking enough times that it's not going to matter. Okay, get done, right click, one, okay, save. All right. And so you can just go through and keep doing that and make sure you save it because if you don't and you move it like I did, you can mess everything up. Um, and then when you're done, you're going to come and you're going to turn off the editing, turn off the editing, turn off the editing. Okay. And then you're done. Uh, you don't have to do any more saving. These files will, uh, will save themselves as you do this. Let me just show you what it looks like. Uh, put that there it is test you can see that there are one two three four five files for each of these they each contain different information this contains a table that has all the data you wrote in so like the ID number one uh, this contains that projection so that WGS 84 uh, this contains the actual, or rather this contains some of the actual spatial data that we did, just so you know. Um, so you can keep track of those files. Don't delete any of them. Connor, I'm sure you already know this. This is more for anyone else. Um, okay, there you go. Those are the basics. If you have questions, uh, feel free to ask.